Sports News. Former Zimbabwe captain uh, Hamilton Masakata. Uh, your first game in Zimbabwe, competitive game in a while. How was that? Ah, it was great uh, to be back out there. Obviously, a little bit of uh, ring rust, but uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed uh, being back out the middle for the first time in a while. Trying to compete for a spot at uh, the World Cup. <laughs> I don't know if I'll take it that far, you know, these these youngsters of today, uh, they'll, they'll eat you alive. I uh, know, just uh, obviously, just trying to give back a little bit, uh, play a little bit of club cricket with the boys, uh, obviously helping a little bit of their learning. Uh, so hopefully do do a little bit of this T10 and a little bit of the Fine Cup in the upcoming season as well. Just to be near some of the youngsters that are learning and uh, just sort of uh, give a little bit of what I learned to them uh, as they're developing. How important is that actually for for you to play club cricket even after retiring from the I think it's super important uh, because I think a lot of my learning uh, I did uh, when we had a few senior players playing with us and uh, it's obviously a big difference from uh, having some tips from outside the field and actually being with someone who can give you tips as things are going uh, in the heat of the moment and uh, just sort of helping you through different situations so it's something that we try to encourage uh, not only myself but uh, a few of the other senior guys that are sort of uh, uh, that have retired or that are sort of on their way out trying to encourage them to to spend a little a lot more time with the young and uh, a lot more time in club cricket than we obviously been than we've obviously been doing in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, of course, uh, hitting the ball in the middle of the park uh, not as difficult as probably you would have expected. But uh, fielding <laughs> that was a bit of a that was a bit much, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's always uh, it's always where, where where the tricky bit comes in. You just have to be a little bit smart about uh, where you feel. Don't put yourself in uh, too many of the hot spots, and uh, just let the younger guys uh, uh, carry that through. But I'm sure I can still hold my own when the ball comes at me. And then someone asked the question: What happens if you bowl a beamer at the DOC? <laughs> I'll probably hit it out of the ground, uh, so I'm not too worried about the beamer. <laughs> so it's so a beamer. I'll still get a contract. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, obviously, um, um, it's nice playing with the boys and uh, it's a different cap that I wear when, I, when I'm out there. But uh, yeah, I don't really think uh, too much would be affected in terms of what the guys are doing. Uh, I think it's also, it's also nice that I'll be a little bit closer to the guys and uh, be a little bit uh, uh, more in tune with what they're doing and uh, with what they're trying to do with their teams and with their different teams as well. Of course you're biased, but uh, what do you think of this format? Uh, obviously, uh, being a little bit of a purist myself, I prefer the longer formats. But uh, having played in the T10, I think it's actually quite nice. It's it's exciting. It's uh, short and sharp. I think it uh, teaches a different uh, level of skill uh, that sh that you can then obviously apply to the other shorter versions of the game. So I think there's a lot there's a lot to to write into with uh, T10 cricket. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Larry.